Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, December 18th, 2013. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. This is the last week of my holiday gift sale, so check that out. And you can now download my astrology classes in MP4 video. You can put it on your iPod, you can put it on your iPad, you can put it on your iPhone. Check it all out, inclusiveastrology.com. This is a gift that we are getting today. Now, it's not the typical gift that we're gonna get on Christmas morning or the gift that you get for some sort of holiday. This is a spiritual gift, a gift of opening. And it's a very powerful gift because, believe it or not, there is a deep inner world that we are all changing in. And I'm sure if you watch this channel, you know this. And today, there are still tests. You know, if we look at the astrology, the moon is coming in the middle of the rodeo as we just got on the horse so it's like how am I gonna handle this rodeo some people are excited for it and like it and are ready for it and ready for some umph in their life other people could be falling flat on their face you know and this faces us with our fears this faces us with you know having to move forward strength you know getting the courage back getting back into the identity that we want to become here getting back on the trail dealing with our emotions and making sure that we don't hold our self from the trail that we need to go to in our lives, this is a big deal. And especially because we're in the in-between, you know, little portal here as we step into this new show, we've got a couple days before Venus actually retrogrades. It's at its stationary spot here the next couple days. And this really brings for this really powerful karmic zone of a preparation. You know, there is another shift about to happen. We just went through a big one in the last day. I'm sure you felt it. Now there's another one here in the next couple days. So in between these shifts, the universe is really looking at how you handle your feelings. Are you seeing big enough? Are you exploring enough? Can I not have my cell phone just keep going off and off and off and off and off? But, you know, I have to see bigger than that. Am I going to just stop and, you know, go change my cell phone and go stop it and redo the video? No, I'm going to keep continuing and staying on this horoscope and push through. And I think that's important for us to learn because that's the gift that we, we get new levels of comfort now. We open ourselves up to really making sure we understand how we really feel because this directs our life in the correct areas. You know, it's really hard to do astrology readings when I'll look at somebody's chart and, you know, the universe is ready to wreak havoc on them, not in a very negative way, but in a way that can become discomforting as it forces change or it's ready for you to step into a different path. And in many ways, you know, it's, it's not easy for us to stay in the same place right now. We have to be constantly growing and constantly flowing. You know, this new age is about electricity and especially in the last day as we've stepped into electricity, electricity is wild and the currents flow and there's, uh, you know, it's Vegas energy, it's Vegas lights, you know, you never know what light's gonna come up next and what little frame's gonna come up next and picture or view and, and we've gotta be prepared and used to this energy now. That's really what this new age energetically is about. And these are the times that we're stepping into. Yes, I think they're very extreme and intense as this 2013 came and 2014's got more of that on the whole horizon. But believe it or not, getting comfortable in that can really radically change you into being this electric person with your, your, your power in hand. You know, it's, it's not easy to deal with electricity. You know, Benjamin Franklin, put a, a key up on a, on a kite and got shocked in the power that he found through there. Yes, it was crazy. And yes, it, you know, if we look at this now, I wouldn't go out, you know, during a lightning storm out there with a huge, you know, pole. But you know what? In many ways, it was this innovation, this different energy, that, that, this electricity that you shouldn't be afraid of. And it's now where we have got to face you know, where are we holding our energy and where do we want to move forward in? Where are we ready to grow into? Where are we ready to, to manifest? And before this retrograde happens with Venus, take these couple days to really see how you feel because you can start to direct your energy correctly to the correct goals, to the correct truth. So you manifest from 
your truth. You manifest from a place that you know you really want to be. And to go back to what I meant of how hard it can be to do readings, when I see, you know, a, a chart and it's like, wow, you know, there's some other place that you should have gone and you know this and you use maybe your free will or something to go on a different place and this is a time for us to make sure we use our free will correctly. That we align it with the universe. That we align it in our truth. That we open up the possibilities to this great, amazing, wondrous world that's right in front of us. Whether or not we're ready to, you know, step over fear and step into courage and step into this is what I want, this is what I need, this is what will make me feel right, and doing it, you know? And, and not holding on to this old way, this old way that just doesn't work anymore. You know, there's, there's nothing safe about safe anymore, if that makes sense. You know, safety is changing where it's safer to be in your truth than to be in a place where the bills are paid. It's safer to be in your truth than being somewhere where it's comfortable because you don't have to do much. You know, this requires all of us to do quite a lot. There is not an easy road, you know. The easy road is by you just being excited for the road. The easy road is in you stepping into your power and truth. And you know, if we go back over this last year and the many events that have happened, we realize why we're going through these emotions now. Because it's time for us to feel for what we want again. It's time for us to awaken ourselves so we know where to go. So we know exactly where to go. So it's one of those days where there's a gift today where I guarantee you today will be today, but tonight there will be an overwhelming yes that comes. An understanding of what this last 72 hours was and a preparation to now know what to manifest, what to build off of, what to create, what to make a difference with in our unique lives that we all live in. And it's about that unique life and making it powerful and making it unique that I ask for you to remember and to step into. So this is a wonderful day. Just stay on your horse. No matter how much the rodeo gets, don't get so scared and run off it. Fight through it, because believe it or not, you could be the hit of the mechanical bull at the bar. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with one of my holiday sales or get my astrology class. And I have a big surprise coming to you guys here in the next couple days. Thanks so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow.